Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do a what's in my hospital bag and diaper bag video. Um, I am 35 weeks pregnant, but I am getting induced at 39, potentially 38 weeks pregnant, depending on how my ultrasound goes on Tuesday. But yeah, so definitely needed to pack the bags already. Um, if you are new to my channel, my name is Sonia. And like I said, I am 35 weeks pregnant with a baby boy. I also have a daughter, Madison, who is seven. And yeah, this is my second child in my own, my last one. <laughs> Subscribe if you are not subscribed already. I do film lots of mommy content and family vlogs. Um, but yeah, if you would like to see what's in my hospital bag, then keep on watching. Okay. So first, I would like to show y'all what's in um, the baby's diaper bag first. So let's do that. So I got the baby um, an Etsy Ritzy diaper bag because it has this grips on it and it's a pretty small bag. Um, this is a mini version. And then they have like another one that's bigger, but I didn't want to get anything massive because with my first daughter, I feel like I already overpack as it is, so the bigger the bag, I'm gonna overpack it. And I did that a lot with my daughter, Madison. So this time, I wanted to do things different, so I decided to go with this small one. So, um, the first thing I have is on this side, which is some hand sanitizer. Um, but I am gonna get the Honest Company one because this one has coconut in it and I don't want any scents on him so I might take that out. Then in the first pocket, the front pocket right here, I packed him a Wubbanub, this is the cow one. I don't know if he's gonna like pacifiers. My daughter Madison didn't, so I didn't force them on her. Um, which in the long run was great because she didn't, like, I didn't have to fight her on taking them away. So if he doesn't like it, I'm not going to force him to want a pacifier. But I am packing it just in case he does. So that's the only thing in that pocket. And then this up. So it folds down like this. There's a zip pocket right here and then this whole thing. So in the zip pocket right there, I have um, two burnt cloths. These are like the muslin ones. And then I have his um, birth announcement. This one just says he's here in this baby blue. So this, I actually made this. I have them listed in my shop if you guys want to check them out. But yeah, so this is going to be his for when he gets here. And then I also am making him one with his name announcement. But that is still in the works right now. Um, but it's going to be the same color scheme as that. Just a bigger acrylic. So, here's that. And then we live over in um, north of Texas. So we live in Texoma area. Um, very hot, very humid over here. It was like 103 yesterday. Um, Ju the end of July, beginning of August is probably the worst it's going to get over here as far as the heat goes. So I did pack to go with the weather over here. So I um, packed this thin blanket. Obviously, he's probably not. Gonna, he's not going to use this when we. He won't be using this when we leave the hospital. But while we're in there, he will definitely need something warm. So, I brought this. It's super thin, um, and it's like a waffle. It's a waffle knit type of blanket, or knit blanket. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I am packing him this. All the stuff in here is going to be getting washed, but I just packed it for the sake of this video but this is everything I am bringing so when we leave the hospital like I said we live where it's very hot so I'm packing him this newborn onesie I don't know if he's going to be in newborn size or if he's going to be in zero to three months so we shall see so this is a onesie I got it from Walmart 
and then some little socks to go with it. So like I said, I don't know how big he's going to be, so I did pack a zero to three month onesie that um, got from Old Navy. Tags are still on, I still got to wash it. <clears throat> and then I brought this knotted one that knots at the bottom. So that would be super cute and to take pictures of him in it would be cute. So packing this. And then um, for his announcement pictures, I'm going to be putting him in this white onesie. This is newborn, but I also need to pack a zero to three months. So, but for his announcement pictures, he's going to be in this white onesie, and I'll explain why in just a second. Um, we are also going to be swaddling him. So he's going to be, his announcement pictures are going to be with this swaddle and this beanie, and it's checkered print. I'm so obsessed with checkered print. Um, so, yeah. We'll put him in this, swaddle him in this, and he'll have this little beanie. Super cute, huh? So I got the swaddle and beanie from Amazon, as well as the onesies. I also have packed a bottle. I don't know if I'm going to use it. Um, I did bottle feed Maddie. I put my breast milk in the bottle and then also fed her like that because I think it's great to teach your child to not only adapt to your boob, but also to a bottle because if you ever go on a date night, you know, they need to be bottle fed. And from past experience, from past experience, um, my niece, um, Charlotte, my sister just strictly breastfed her only. So anytime anybody would babysit her, it was a mission to even try to get her to take a bottle. So luckily I didn't have that scenario with Madison because I introduced the bottle to her as well. So it was easy to, you know, give her both. I Then there's a pocket right there, a mesh pocket. And I just have some breast pads. I was an oversupplier with Madison. I know I'm gonna be one with this baby because I already started getting milk at like 23 weeks pregnant. So yeah. That's the same scenario that happened with Maddie, but that is everything I have in here for the baby. So this is everything in his diaper bag. I'm also going to be bringing the Frida Mom breastfeeding pillow. It's still wrapped up. I'm not going to take it out until we actually leave for the hospital, um, just so it stays nice and cleaned and sanitized. Um, then once we leave, I will take it out of its container. Um, but yeah, so this is a breastfeeding pillow, and then it has like, um, like where you can put a heating pad in the back, so I think that's really great. I'm going to try to find the heating pad that I can add into here, um, because I know those cramps you feel after having the baby are brutal, and your back hurts, and it's definitely going to be needed. So, bringing this with us, and I'm excited. So before we get into the, my huge bag... Um, I am also bringing a blanket for me. This is my newest blanket. Um, I'm obsessed with checkered print, if you can't tell. Um, so I did decide to get myself a blanket to bring to the hospital um, so I can be comfy and feel like at home because those blankets can be super itchy. And I think anything that makes you feel comfy, comfortable and like more at home and not at a hospital helps. Um, and plus, I remember when I was in labor with Madison, and even after I had her, I was freezing. So cold, and I remember asking for so many blankets, and they kind of seemed annoyed by it. So, yeah, I decided to bring my own blanket, and I will most likely bringing, be bringing my own pillow, um, my UGG pillow. So, it's just like a regular pillow, but it has an Ugg pillowcase on it, and it's super soft. So, yeah, I am going to be bringing that with me, but it's in my daughter's room because she likes sleeping with it. But, yeah, so I'm bringing my blanket. Now, let's jump into what is in my bag. Let me tell you all, this is like overly packed. Um, I was going to bring my Louis Vuitton duffel bag, but 
one, I just feel like it, we're going to the hospital. Like, I don't want it to get damaged, ruined, dirty. Um, and two, I just feel like it's too bougie to be bringing that to the hospital. So I did go out and get me this duffel bag. I thought it was super cute. Um, it's bigger than, it's no, it's probably about the same size as my LV duffel bag. Um, but... At least with this one, I won't get mad if it gets dirty or damaged, but there's a lot of stuff in here. I am going to have to put some things in, in Josh's bag, but we're going to be um, tacking that, like, probably the day of. Or, he's just too, so last minute, and if I were to pack his stuff right now, he'd go through it and use his stuff in there, so not even going to do that. Um, but yeah, so I got this bag. Super cute. Um, very my style. Um, so let's go ahead and show y'all what's in here. So, um, here's, I got the Freedom Mom per Perineal Healing Foam. Um, my aunt actually bought this for me for postpartum, so I'm bringing this just in case I need it. If not, I'll use it at home. I do know the hospital provides these, but I want to bring one just in case. Like I said, if I don't use it, then I'll use it at home. And this is just the, um instant ice maxi pad um and i'm excited for using these my aunt bought me like a whole box um so yeah i'm going to be taking just one with me because like i said i don't know the hospital provides them for you in my bag also which i think i'm going to put this in the baby's diaper bag i have my haka um silicone manual breast pump um this is just to catch milk i don't know if i'm going to use it but i am going to bring it just in case so i'm actually just going to go ahead and put that in the baby's diaper bag since there's more room in there than there is in my bag um then i have this little bag that actually came with it sorry if i keep looking over here it's because of the camera of beca because of the screen but um i have this little bag that came with this duffel um and it, i have my polaroid camera so i could take a picture of the baby for memories <coughs> i have a 10 foot phone charger that's going to be coming in handy and then the charging block so that's all that's in here. It's just kind of like my electronic stuff. Um, get out of the way. And then in here, this also came with the duffel bag. Um, I have this hair tie, definitely gonna be needed, um, you know, during labor, after labor. And then some chapstick. So just some simple stuff in there. Then in here, I have my Mom Cozy breast pump, wireless breast pump. I remember when I gave birth to Madison, they wanted me bre like pumping right away. So I did, and I had to use theirs. So I am going to charge these before we leave. I'm just keeping them in the bag um, until we get a little bit closer to the due date. Um, but yeah, so I am bringing these with me because I do remember they had me pump when I had Madison um so yeah bringing those with me but I delivered at a different hospital this one that I'm delivering at I have no idea I haven't toured it I haven't done any of that um so I don't know like what they're gonna have and what they're not I do know like the you know postpartum stuff they'll have and like diapers and stuff but I don't know if they're gonna want me to be pumping right after or if, and if they do, like if they have their own machine, I just don't know. So I'm bringing these either way. Then I have some organic nipple balm. Um, so I have that in there, which I think I will be putting in the diaper bag. I also have some house slippers in here. These are my Ugg ones. These are pretty beat up, so that's why I'm taking them with me. Nothing fancy about them. Then I have 
um, a little speaker so I can play some like calming music um, while I am in labor and then also like maybe some maybe some like rain music and stuff like once the baby's here um, so yeah I just bought this I have been I've been having this tiny speaker and it plays very loud and it's it holds a really good charge so I decided to bring this so let's get into my clothes um, so I have for my going at home outfit I am bringing this spaghetti strap it's very like stretchy um, it but also holds everything in so I thought this would be perfect to wear at home since it's gonna be so dang hot so here's the top and then I'm going to be wearing this with it um, I got this from Target it's nice and thin and it's like a muslim type cloth so I think this would be perfect to wear over like I said since it's going to be hot and then the pant, the shorts to go with it so that's my going home outfit and then um, I'm bringing these Hanes um, shorts, short undies so I love these, I wear them a lot right now, it holds everything in but I think it'll be perfect for when I have my pads on, everything will stay in place. So that's why I'm bringing these. Of course, it's going to be cold so I'm going to get, I'm going to need to keep my feetsies warm so I got these socks, these are by Hearth and Hand, um, they're just like knit socks. Um, I know the hospital will provide the grip ones, but obviously after a shower and stuff, I'm going to want to wear my own thing. So I just got these, and they're like not super thick, but they'll be able to keep my feet warm. They'll be able to keep my feet warm, and I remember when I had Madison, I was freezing. Like, I'm talking like cold, but it's because your body like goes through all these like changes, and it's normal for you to be freezing, like during labor and after. So this time I'm more prepared on packing these things. Um, so yeah, I have these socks. Then I have a nursing bra. This one, it's just one of those that you just pull down. So I have this one in a pink one. The pink one's in the wash. And then I have another one that just straps off. So I'm going to bring all of those um, with me. Then, like I said, my feet are going to be cold. Um, so I brought thicker socks too with me. These are like wool ones. Um, just in case you're like freezing. Now for pajamas, I brought two separate outfits. Um, this one's probably going to be like right after I take my first shower. Um, these are some thermal ones. Right, is that what they're called? Um... So they're long sleeve. Like I said, I was very cold with Maddie. I remember just free, being fro like feeling like frozen almost. Like it was, I was very, very, very cold, and I remember feeling extremely uncomfortable. Um, so I decided to pack some long sleeve ones. So got those, and then also if I decide I don't want to wear that going home outfit. Um, or if we get guests, I'm going to be wearing this dress. Um, it's just super thin and sheer, so it's comfortable. Definitely something you want to wear postpartum, like that makes you feel cozy and loose. Um, but yeah, so I brought this with me. It's just a nice dress, and it's super soft. And then, like I said, if we get guests and stuff, I also have a second option. It's just this pajama dress I got from um, from Target, and this is my favorite right now. It's a pajama dress, but I wear it as like a regular dress, um, and I love it a lot. So if we get any guests, at least I can be comfortable and cute at the same time. So that's that. <clears throat> Obviously, you know, I want to straighten my hair and stuff and feel like yourself. So I am bringing my Dyson straightener. This definitely needs to get um, charged before we go to the hospital. So I gotta do that. 
but for the sake of this, this video, I have it in the back. Now, lastly, is my toiletry bag. So I have these um, listed in my shop if y'all are interested to purchase them, but these are our checkered toiletry bags. Um, and it will be linked down below if you guys want to shop this or the, that acrylic sign I was showing y'all. Um, but yeah, so let me show you what's in here. So I have some dry shampoo. Um, some makeup remover wipes because I do plan on doing my makeup, like, since I am getting induced. And I say if I don't go into labor before, I plan on doing my makeup prior to getting there. Um, so I am bringing some makeup wipes. And then some travel size deodorant. Then I have the native shampoo um, conditioner and body wash. So this will be for Josh and I. Um, so I have that in there. My own loofah. Toothbrush and toothpaste. Obviously the necessities. Then I have this little mirror. It comes with like a stand. So I can just stand it up on the little table for touch-ups or even like after I take my first shower. Um, I remember I was doing my makeup in the bathroom and I felt so like drained of energy. It was hard to stand for a long time. Like I had to like kneel over the sink because I was I had no energy, but I also wanted to do my makeup. Um, so I think it'll be perfect to bring this little handheld mirror with me, um, so I can put it on the table and do my makeup while I'm in bed. So I did get this from Walmart. <clears throat> then, last but not least, the most important, a hairbrush. Um, this is just the Conair one. I got this from Walmart as well. They got me on the color. Um, but yeah, so that's everything in there. Okay, so now that we've gone through my bag, um, I also have another, my purse that I am going to be bringing. Um, but I am also going to be bringing my Stanley Cup. This thing is large as hell and will keep my eyes super cold. I'm definitely a Yeti girl, but... Um, I like my Stanley because of how big it is in the straw. So um, I'm going to be bringing this with me to the hospital. That is definitely a necessity. Now for the stuff in my purse. Um, I'm going to be, I have like, a, like my stuff that I'll use like when I'm getting induced and bored or whatever. Um, I have my vlogging camera. That's definitely coming with me. My notebook. This is just my checklist for um, things I need to bring with me that are going to be out of my bag that I need to put back in um, prior to us going to the hospital. So I have a whole notebook. Not a, like it's not filled with stuff I need to bring, but it's written down in here. <clears throat> my tripod. Obviously, my makeup bag. I love this makeup bag. I have black and pink ones listed on my website if you all want to purchase them. I do not have the white, but I do have black and pink. But yeah, I'm bringing this makeup bag with me. Some Aveeno lotion. Um, Mrs. Meyers hand sanitizer. My laptop. And then my iPad because I know I will be bored so I can watch YouTube or movies on here. My laptop's just for editing. If I have the energy to upload and edit my birth vlog, then I will do so. Um, so that's just bring, getting brought just in case. Um, but that is everything I am bringing to the hospital with me. Um, I tried not to overpack. But at the same time, I kind of did. You just never know. And honestly, if I need anything else, I'll just send Josh to the house. The hospital is literally like 10 minutes from here. So we should be good. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and follow me on Instagram. Everything will be listed down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!